I'm going to show you two ways to normalize your raw footage in DaVinci Resolve. So before you start the color grading process of editing your video, it's really important to normalize your footage. Now, normalizing your footage basically means you're gonna do some simple color correction and you're going to balance the lighting in your shot so that every shot looks correct before you start color grading. You'll notice that if you color grade one of your clips and you get it looking exactly how you want it to and you copy and paste those settings to a clip from say another location with slightly different lighting or slightly different um, color temperature in the room, you'll notice that the color grade doesn't look quite right. And that's because both clips need to be normalized for their location before the color grading process begins. So I'm going to show you two different ways to normalize your footage inside of DaVinci Resolve. I have two different clips here. One was shot inside, one was shot outside. I did that because there are some differences um, when normalizing your footage. There are a few differences whether you're inside or outside um, depending on where your light source is coming from. But let's look at the inside clip first. I'm gonna hit shift six. That's gonna take me to the coloring page. And I'm going to, if it's not already on clip, we're gonna change our, our footage to clip mode. That's gonna open up these options for us. Um, also, you wanna make sure that your waveform is open. If that's not, you can hit this down arrow and open up your waveform. So let's look at the exposure first before we do anything else. Um, you want the bulk of your footage to be centered around the 512 mark. So if it's not, you can move exposure up and down until it is centered. This one was exposed pretty well, so I'm going to leave it at zero. And the first way I'm going to show you how to normalize is inside of the color wheels. And we're going to take our saturation down to zero. I like to start with balancing the lighting before I do the color correction. And I find that it's easier if you have no saturation, it's easier to balance your lighting. So inside the color wheels, you have lift, gamma, gain, and offset. Lift is your shadows, gain is your highlights, gamma is your midtones, and the offset is the overall um, lighting, moving it up and down. And so the first thing we're gonna do here is set our shadows where we want them. So we'll take the lift wheel and start dragging it to the left. And where we want our shadows to sit is somewhere in between zero and 128. If you get it all the way down to 128, you now have black footage and anything below that is just black, so there's no information there. So you don't want it all the way, but somewhere between the zero and the 128 is a good stopping point. And then we'll look at the gain and look at the highlights. And so when you're dealing with the highlights, looking at the waveform again, you want your footage to be not hitting that 1023. Anything 1023 or above is clipping, it's white, and it has no information. So with, with this um, particular scene here, we do have some light from a window reflecting off the kettle. And so that is going to be for us hitting somewhere between 896 and 1023, but not too high um, because we do want to leave some room for the color grading. So somewhere halfway in between is where we will stop. And then we'll look at the gamma for the rest of it. So the gamma is your midtones. You can pull those up and down. Right now, what you're looking for with the gamma is to balance the lighting the best way that you could for how it would look just with the naked eye. I know that there's no color to it right now, but what lighting balance looks best for how your shot really looked in person or how you want the shot to come across. So something really bright might look good in some application. For this one, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit somewhere in there. And then you may have to look back at your shadows and your highlights again. If it drug your shadows down too dark, you can adjust those. Again, you want them about halfway between zero and 128. And the highlights about the same, about halfway between the 896 and the 1023. So somewhere right in there is a well-balanced shot on the lighting spectrum. So let's pull the saturation back up. I'm gonna pull it up to 80, usually somewhere between between 70 and 80 is where you want to go for raw footage. Um, so now looking at this, the, the lighting balance is good, um, but the color balance is not quite where we want it. It looks a little bit too warm. And so you can change this a couple ways. You can change the color temperature or 
we can just hit our white balancing tool, find something white in the image like the stove back here, click on that, and now we have um, a color corrected image. And so your saturation, you know, you don't want it, you don't want it overly saturated. Um, somewhere, usually, like I said, usually somewhere around 75 is where you want to stop. That still gives you some room in the color grading process to either boost saturation or take down saturation depending on what look you're going for. So if we toggle the effects on and off, you can see that the um, color correction is looking good. The light balance is good. There's a lot, of, a lot more contrast in this image. And now you're ready to begin the color grading process of editing this video. So I'm going to go to the next clip now and I'm going to show you a second way to normalize your footage. So we're going to do the same thing here, change it to clip mode, um, still looking at the waveform. Now you can see on this clip that it was exposed, what's called exposing to the right. Um, nothing in the shot is clipping, so we haven't lost any information, but it is above that 512, the, the, the center of the image. And so we can take the exposure and pull it down until kind of this, so not the sky, the sky obviously doesn't need to pull down to the midpoint, that's way too dark. But the other information besides the light source in this shot should be centered around the 512, which is somewhere around here. So the second way I'm gonna show you how to do this is inside of the curves. So again, we're gonna take the saturation down to zero. And inside of your curves, you can change that by clicking your different options here. Um, it sort of works the same way. So if you take the left dot and start pulling it to the right, your shadows pull down, and we'll pull them down until the peaks of them are somewhere in between 0 and 128. And you can do the same with your highlights. Now with this being an actual lighting source, um, you want it a little bit above the 896, but not all the way to the top. So right about there is about halfway. And so now if you need to adjust the midtones, you can create a dot and pull that up and down. So if you want to pull down some low mids or some high mids, you have a lot of options there. So somewhere in there looks pretty good to me. And so we're going to go back and boost our saturation back up to, let's do 75. So now when I toggle this on and off, saturation looks good. The contrast of the image looks good. This is where you can start your color grading process. So now that your clips are normalized, you can start the color grading process, and that's really where the fun begins. So thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.